Hi, today I'm going to talk about A-B testing. There's a million different reasons and ways you might use A-B testing, so I'm not going to go into that, but I will show you how to set one up in the Replo. So first step is to understand what pages you actually want to test against each other. For me, I'm going to test simple landing page B1 versus simple landing page B2. What's the difference between these two? It's really just the order of the sections, specifically in B2, the buy box is at the top of the page. So I'll go ahead and open that in a new tab versus in V1, the buy box is lower down the page. So I'll open that. So it's basically a test between these two versions of really the same content. So over here in Replo, I'll click the AB testing button to open my experiments view, and I can create a new experiment up here in the top right. Now, what is an experiment? An experiment is really just a URL you can direct traffic to, whether that be via ad spend or via direct link. And that URL will redirect across any number of variations based on the percentages outlined here. So we can actually go ahead and add a few variations. And as long as this percentage sum adds up to 100, we're in business. So since this is a simple A-B test between these two landing pages, I'll go ahead and delete these three, set this back to 50-50, and start to go through the form here. So I will name this LP B1 versus B2. And I will give this a description that's helpful for me. Great. And this is the experimental slug. And this actually has to be uniquely identifying. So I'll go ahead and say LP B1 versus B2. And I will copy in my URLs into this particular form. And here we go, boom. And I will name these variations something that's helpful to me. So V1 and V2, great, all set up, save changes. And now I have created my experiment in a draft state. So I can go ahead and activate. And what that will do is it will set the activated at timestamp. And this URL takes about 20 seconds to go live. So we'll go ahead and wait for that. While we're waiting, I'll go ahead and close these two tabs out and I will copy the experimental URL link, paste that into a new tab. And the first thing you'll see is that there was no white stutter or flicker that you see with other A-B testing tools like Google Optimize. And then the second thing you'll see is that no matter how many times I go to this experimental URL on this particular device, I will always get this same variation, variation one in this instance. And that's because we have cookie the browser and that just helps to not muddle any experimental results. Great, I'll close out a few of these. In order to see variation two, we'll either have to open up a different browser like Safari, or we can even open up a new incognito browser. So I'll go ahead and do that for Chrome and paste in my experimental URL. And great, we got variation V2. And again, no matter how many times we go here, I will always get the same variation on this particular device or browser. So let's go ahead and take a look at this particular redirected URL. We can see here it's the URL that we set up in the config right here. And the other two parameters that are appended are the Replo experiment, LPB1 versus V2. So that is actually the experimental slug that we defined here. And then the Replo variation equals V1, that is the variation name. So that's defined here. Now you might be asking, how do analytics work in this instance? Replo hasn't built out any analytics specifically for this. But what we do do is append these parameters on, and that's valuable because while these URLs can be any valid URL on the internet, it is very likely that they are from your Shopify store. Maybe it's a Replo landing page versus a Replo PDP or something like that. And on your store, you should have your analytics platform and pixels set up on the theme. So we will pull that in, we will append on these parameters, and then in your tried and true analytics platforms, you can go ahead and filter based on these to really figure out the results of the experiment based on whatever metrics you find the most important. So for example, within Google Analytics, you can set up a filter for a query string equals Replo experiment or whatever that might be. And then you can take a look at the results that way. So let's hop back over into our experiments UI. And once this is sort of run its course, you can go ahead and hit complete. And then you can pick a winner based on, again, whatever you decided. So if we wanted to pick variation number two as the winner, we can say complete. And what that will do is it will direct all traffic that goes to this URL to variation two. So you'll notice that on this browser, I got variation one originally, but if we come here and go there, see, we got variation two now. And so basically this will always direct to the correct variation. That's how you set up an A-B test within Replo.
Thanks.